Um, Wi-Fi 6 helps us use power more efficiently. So this is especially, especially applicable to small IoT devices. Uh, I can schedule a transmission and then devices can put their wireless radios to sleep. Uh, it can be for very short periods of time when the AP expects to be less busy. You know, I, the AP basically says to the client, hey, talk to me again in, you know, 100 milliseconds. I don't expect to have any traffic at that point. Or it can be for a very long time until the device needs to check in again. I'll talk to you again in a month. You know, I think of, um, I'm, I'm looking at watering systems for my lawn and you can get rain gauge sensors. Well, how often do I need to know how much rain it has, uh, you know, rained in the past few days? Once a day, probably. So that device can essentially power off all of its radios and save a ton of battery life um, if it's scheduled to just talk again tomorrow. So that applies to a lot of IoT devices. Um, they can sleep longer between transmissions and, and use less battery. I've heard up to three times better battery life. Now, like I've said, there are other advantages, upgrades, um, improved 2.4 uh, gigahertz uh, spectrum use, uh, 1024 QAM ratings, which just pack a lot more data um, uh, into our transmissions, BSS coloring, and, and maybe some of you that have paid attention to different articles have seen some of those already. Uh, but OFDMA and, and targeted wake-up time really drive us forward um, and represent some of the big enhancements to Wi-Fi 6. So the next big question becomes, all right, when can I start taking advantage? of all this. Well, you need two things for any wireless technology. You need the right AP and you need the right client. So Cisco has a full lineup of Wi-Fi 6 access points. You can purchase and install today, whether that be uh, traditional Cisco or Meraki. Um, there's product lineups uh, for both those. Um, but again, that's only half the equation. You also need the clients. Um, so you'll note on this slide, we need approximately 40% um, of clients uh, in, within our, our area to really see a significant difference. And the reason for that is with all the scheduling of, of transmissions, if Wi-Fi 5 clients are still around, um, they are going to be rude and interrupt <laughs> one of your clients talking at a scheduled interval. And so there's some uh, inefficiencies that pop up there. But once you get to 40% of clients, um, we, we start to see significant differences in the throughput and capacity and, and capability um, of, of these devices, of, of Wi-Fi 6. So hopefully that gives you a little background and gets you excited for the advancements we can achieve with Wi-Fi 6. Um, but just as key as having uh, good products in place um, is, is having a good wireless design. We see this all the time um, where Customer has good APs, but they're poorly placed and they just don't deliver the way they should. Um, so that's why NSI employs uh, talented wireless engineers such as wireless CCIE John Meacham, and he's going to take over uh, talking about wireless uh, designs in just a moment.